Sheba, Remadubari, Masanti, Remarobari, Baskonto. Oh, you will prosper. Amen. I cast and bind every weapon fashioned against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, my darling wife, today you will prosper. Will. As you go out, your name shall be mentioned behind the doors you feel you do not qualify to open. Amen. You will prosper. You will Amen. excel. Go and be the best version of yourself amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen. amen and amen. amen. Babe. Look, I need to run, okay? <laughs> okay baby. Don't forget to pick me up. Oh, sure, night. I will. I will remember. I will not forget. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Have a beautiful day. You too, babe. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Yum, yes, mommy of Lagos. Yes, you can say that again. <laughs> Girl, see how good you look. Good? I've added so much weight. Look at me. I don't understand. Show me where the weight is. Mm. See all this? I don't see it. I just see the yummy mommy glow. That's it. You think you'd ask me? Oh my goodness. My baby. Oh. <laughs> Thank mm. you. Chum chum. Mm. Chum chum chum. Mm. Oh. Oh, and she's smiling at me. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hi, chum chum. Mm -hmm. Auntie Anna says hi. Thank you, Auntie Anna. <laughs> I love that she's smiling at me so much. Mm -hmm. She's so precious. Thank you, my love. And she's so grown now. I mean, <laughs> how many seconds ago did we have her? That's right. She's so beautiful. You know, if, if only Mark would let us have ours. Have you talked to Mark about how you feel? Every time. Actually, countless times. Mm. I, you know, this whole thing is just, it's killing me. I can't even lie. It's so painful. It's not like I'm infertile or anything is wrong with him either. Oh, baby. I, my dear friend, don't feel bad, okay? You have your own, all will be well, hmm? Sorry. Don't cry. Oh, don't. Okay. Don't do that. It's okay. Oh. Stop. Um, I think he's here. Okay, let him come in. Yeah. Tell him to come in. Okay. He's actually always smiling. Um, okay. Hello, uh, baby. You can't just come in. Sarah, open the door! <laughs> God, Mama, love hey. you. Hey, uh, Marianne, how are you? Welcome. Uh, God bless you. Mm, God bless you, Brother Mark. Is that my goddaughter? Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. Oh, Thank yeah. you. <laughs> wow. Baby, you're blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I wish I had the very best that life has to offer. 
Thank you. She, she shall grow up in the wisdom and the light of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh, she's so adorable. Mm -hmm. Look at her. <laughs> Cuckoo. <laughs> oh, wait, please yes. help me hold her. Yes. Hi, Chacha. Um, baby. This is for you. Let mommy use this and buy ice cream or biscuit for you, okay? Amen. Let me keep that for baby. Before she falls it down. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. Babe, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sure. So soon. I thought you would stay. Let me just offer you a little drink. Oh, no. Maybe some other time. Oh, oh it's okay. Oh. oh. I was thinking you'll go with the baby. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say that. Like, can I go with her? Yeah, go. I cry for you all night. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby. Um. <sighs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. The mark. Thank you, Sister Marianne. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me see you all. Thank you so much. Let's go. Mm. Okay. Babe, are you okay? Did you see Marianne's child? Do you see how grown and adorable that baby has become? Oh, I know. Isn't God so faithful? <laughs> I want a baby, Mark. Babe. <laughs> I'm not the one who gives children. It's God that gives children. But you're not even giving God the chance to give us children. Anna, please, please. Anna, please what? We've been married for, for, for two years. Two years and several months and we have nothing to show for it. No, babe. No, no, no. That's where you're wrong. As a matter of fact, we have so much to show for it. Come on, God has been faithful to us. He's been helping us. He's been, he's been blessing us. Huh? Okay. Come on, babe. Ah, oh, finally, babe, I couldn't wait because the aroma has been serenading me here. <laughs> it smells so good. Thank you. What about your plate? Are you not hungry? I'm hungry. But not, not for food. I hunger to hold my own child. My own baby in my arms. An evidence of our love and our union. That's exactly what I hunger for. Bless this food, O oh Lord, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Food was delicious. Thank mm. you. Mm. Babies, what have I have done too hard for you to forgive? Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Where does it say in the scripture 
that a man is allowed to deprive his wife the joys of having her own child? Huh? I want a baby. I'm ready to have my own child. And I've been ready for such a long time. I'm tired of your excuses. And I'm tired of being understanding. Initially, it was, it was our careers, but babe, babe, look at us now. God has been so merciful. Babe, I know that. And you know that I want a baby too, but I just think it's, it's wiser to wait another year or maybe two. Why? Because, my darling, there is nothing wrong in planning properly and waiting for God's time. Let's continue to work hard so we can be able to better our finances, to cater for our needs when the baby comes. What needs, Mark? What needs? You know about my family's struggle with fibroid. You were here to witness Precious's saga. And you heard all about Oluchi's story as well. Mark, you know how long it took my own mother to have her own first child. Mark, now that I am in the clear, what's stopping us? Why can't we just do this? Why? Babe, fibroid or not, God will give us a child when the time is right. Babe, God is not a respecter of man, neither is he scared of fibroid. Besides, it shall never be your portion as long as you believe oh, and you Oh, please, please, spare me the sermon. Babe, please do not say anything that will make you blaspheme, please. Please don't do that. Fine. Uh, babe, we're not done talking. I'm done. Come on, babe, why are you acting like this? This is not godly. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Hey, babe. I hope you're having a blessed day. Uh, yeah, not bad. But actually, I'm just um, I'm just rounding up, and uh, yeah, I'll be heading home shortly. Okay, you want me to come pick you up? Yeah, sure, no problem. All right, babe. <laughs> Love you. Mr. Mark, sorry, excuse me. Yes, Brenda. <laughs> yes, sorry. Can I join you to Jack on the bus stop at least, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yes, my love. Did you win a lottery? <laughs> because what is what is this celebration? Come on, babe. <laughs> do I have to win a lottery to do something nice for my wife? No, well, <laughs> no, you don't. But no, babe, don't you don't you think this is a bit too much? No, babe. Come on. Nothing is too much for you. <sighs> babe, you deserve everything beautiful in this world. And if I could give you the world, I would give Mark. it to me. Let me finish, please. Babe, I know how much you love me. 
and I am so grateful to God for sending you my way. Babe, you make me so happy. Babe, I'm glad that you chose to spend the rest of your life with me. I also know that you want a baby so badly. And I really, really appreciate your patience with me. But babe, please, just one more year. Just one more year. Let us give God the time and the chance to speak to me. Please. You're such a joker. Babe? What's up with the news? Did, did someone die? Calm down, Madame Panic. No one has died. Oh, thank God. So, what's up? Sarah has given birth, oh, ha ha, we thank God. Huh? Are you serious? Twins, a girl and a boy. Oh. Congratulations to, to her. Babe, come on. Yours will come soon, okay? It's just a matter of time. I know. Cheer up. Talk to you soon and don't forget to call Sarah. Bye. Thank you. Today, we have with us the mother of the miraculous quadruplets that were recently born at the prestigious Alvin Adewale Hospital in Abuja. Madam, can you please? Yeah. 
Hey, my love. <laughs> How are you? Hey. Babe, not even a hug. You're not excited to see me. Um. um your food, it's, it's on the dining. I made dinner. You're leaving already? Yeah, our breakfast is on the table. Are, are we not going to bless the day at least? <sighs> what have I done this time? <sighs> Anna, why haven't you been picking my calls? You were busy. Babe, is there something going on that you need to tell me about? Because I don't get it. Why, why would you pick my calls? Sorry. You didn't even think to send me a message to tell me that you were fine and you will, you'll be coming back home late. Sorry. Babe, I was super worried about Sorry! You. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's all you keep saying. I should get more than that. What more do you want, Mark? Hmm? All my life, I have given you everything. I have been so used to just giving to you. And now, guess what? I have nothing more to give. So please, dear husband, accept this sorry. Because it's all I have left. Okay? Yeah? I noticed some discrepancies with the Henshaw's account, so I thought I should bring it for you to take a look. Have you highlighted them? Yes, I have. Okay, I'll take a look. Okay. okay. Is there anything else? Actually, yes, sir. I was wondering if you had lunch. Or you would like me to get you something on my way back from lunch. Or better still, you can join me for lunch oh, today. No, 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 no. None of the above, unfortunately. I'm currently on a fast. Thank oh. you. How sad. Um, how about tomorrow, sir? Brenda, I am busy. If we have nothing else official to talk about, you can go for lunch. Don't worry about me. I'm very fine. Okay. Thank you.
Hello? Oh, wow. You sound amazing. Better than I imagined, actually. Deji? Yes, witness. Oh. Look, just to be sure that we don't have any problems, all right? Please do not refer to me with any endearing terms. Why do? I don't know if you noticed, but it's clearly written on my bio. Wife, amongst other things. You are? How could I have skipped that? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very married and very happy. So, thank you. <laughs> well, you shouldn't let your husband stop you from finding your soulmate. Well, I believe I know that saying and it goes, don't let your boyfriend stop you from meeting your husband. <laughs> this is totally new to me. Same applies. You make it so easy to talk to you. Thank you for giving me audience today. It's okay. Did you get home safe? Um, I just got home. What are you up to? Oh, nice. <laughs> Hey, are these calls going to be frequent now or what? Am I bothering you already? Mm, not yet. <laughs> Good, because talking to you makes me really, really happy. It's like, it's like a dose of sunshine after several rainy days. <laughs> you sure do have your way with words. But I'm just being honest. Ever met someone who felt like you've known this person all your life? Conversations are seamless, vibe on check, like this chemistry. No. You're lying. You know that's how we are. Well. Okay. You call me when you're free. Well. What I do know is that I just got to work and I need to go now. Fine. A text? No. <laughs> Married woman, remember? Come on, Anna. Bye, Deji. Father in heaven, I commit this day to your hands. I decree that today is blessed and I declare that the works of my hands are blessed through Christ Jesus. Amen. Okay. <laughs> it's about to be a good day. Oh, glory be to God, sir. Glory be to God. Yes, sir. I'm so glad that you liked it. Oh, yes, sir. It's always it's such a pleasure to do business with you. Thank you so much. Remain blessed. Thank you. <laughs> he liked it. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry, sir. I was just overly excited. That, that's all. You should learn to reel it in. This is a workspace and your actions could be misinterpreted. Yes, I apologize, sir. I'm sorry. I'll go to my office now. Hey. Hey, baby. Mark? Were you expecting someone else? 
yeah, an old friend from way back. You need something? I was calling to know if my wife would be free for lunch today. Um, unfortunately, I'm really swamped with work, so maybe some other time. Um, um, can I call you back real quick? I need to attend to something. Hey, Deji. Hey. Hey, beautiful. Your voice has a magical feel to it. It drives me crazy every time I hear it. It sends exciting tingles down my spine. Very angelic. They sing, right? <laughs> oh, please. Did you? How do you know what angels sound like? I'm guessing they sound melodic, sweet, mesmerizing enough to affect the stone how much me a warm bodied. <laughs> I tell you, for real, you have a spine tingling voice. It sure does some numbers on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are we still talking about angels here? Of course. <laughs> Where did you go to? Oh, <laughs> nowhere. I was just wondering. Can I see your fine face? Please? Um, <laughs> please. I'm sure I look a mess right now. That makes it even better. Also, I'm a married woman, okay? But trust me, if I were your husband, I'll be running home to you right now just to take off your dress. Well, thank God you're not him. In another life, I'll be the man you wake up to, the man whose kids you will bear and whose name you had answer. Do you know what I just imagined? Mm. Tell me. I just imagined what our kids would look like. I would want them to have your eyes and that smile that could melt even the strongest of hearts. A baby girl first, and then a boy. Are you there? Um. Yeah, of course. I'm here. How many kids do you have? Unfortunately, none. Your husband's not active down there. My husband is very much fine. <laughs> hey, baby. How are you? Mm. You had a good day? Yeah. Who are you on the phone with? Oh, um, a friend from work. Oh, okay. Um, I'll just leave you to it then. I'll go change upstairs. Hey, hey, my husband is fine. Bye. Hey, who are you chatting with? Um, I saw you smiling to your phone just now. 
Yeah. Is there something you'd like me to help you with? No, but uh, you left the room earlier than usual. You didn't even pray. I did. Babe, I didn't see you pray. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I didn't realize I was supposed to report myself to you every time I said my prayers. I don't know, what, what's going on? Wait, don't you have fellowship to be at or something? Fine, just home, watching TV. <laughs> what can a girl do? Anyway, how are you? Georgia Hotel. Oh. What, what hotel? What are you doing there? I came out for a drink before I head back to Coyote Street. Coyote Street? Wait, is there Coyote Street in London now? <laughs> or am I missing something? Nope. In Lagos, Nigeria. Oi! How? You're in Nigeria? I am. Hey, you're lying. When did you get back? Are you being serious? It's in Nigeria. <laughs> okay. Sorry I'm disturbing, but I dreamt about you. My husband could have been beside me. Well, he's not. Isn't that why you picked? Oh, you think you're witty? <laughs> I don't think I actually know. Well, pride goes before destruction. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but I remember you said your husband went for a vigil. Oh, yeah, he did. So, um, are you all alone? Yeah, it happens sometimes. I would never ever leave you alone. So, you mean you'd never go to work or, or any important functions? Nope. I'll spend all my days, all my hours, everything with you forever. <laughs> uh, just curious. Where did you two meet? Um, at a youth fellowship some, some time back. Hmm. You were a church girl. Well, always a Jesus baby, actually. Interesting. Please. Um, you know what? I, I need to make a call. I'll just talk to you tomorrow or something. All right. I'll let you go. It was good hearing your voice. It's the last person I speak to before I sleep. Good night.
please. Finally. Hey, what's wrong with you? Obviously you. I hear you. What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> what else? Work, of course. Can you do me after? I was only asking if we could see you tomorrow for drinks. DG. I'm married. I told you I'm only in town for three weeks. Don't you want to see me before I leave? I obviously want to see you, but it wouldn't be that easy. Because you're a married woman? Yeah. Is it forbidden for a married woman to have drinks with her friend in a public place at, say, 5, 5.30? Well... Please... Did she... I don't know, honestly. Um, it's my husband, all right? I have to go. Yeah, hello? I'm okay, when are you coming? And so we thank you, Heavenly Father, for all the beautiful things that you have done for us. We thank you for having a good day, O oh Lord. And we pray that tomorrow and the rest of our lives will be wholesome and filled with your love. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. What's making my dear wife so happy? Um, it's, it's nothing. It's just me catching up with an old friend I ran into with Miriam the other day. Oh, that's cool. Um, <laughs> is this a friend that I may have met before? Babe, please. I mean, how many of my old friends do you know? Uh, you don't know this one. It's okay, it's okay. Just uh, checking in. No, you don't know her. No. Okay. Yeah. Good night, babe. Good night. <sighs>
Okay. Look, if you keep calling me this often, we're going to have a problem. Okay? I don't want to give my husband ideas. Sorry, I just wanted to confirm our appointment for today. A married woman. I know. I already told you that I was going to let you know. Okay? And look, you have to be very patient. I am... Let's call you back. Hey. Hey. Um... Hey, I... I'll be coming back home late tonight. Yeah, Maria needs me to accompany her somewhere. So you won't be coming for weekly service? Mm, I'll be there next Thursday. Come on, babe. You shouldn't compromise on the things of God. But I'm not. All right? I just need to be there for my friend. Besides, it's not like I always miss these services, so... Gotta go. You're early. Hi. I mean, I couldn't afford to keep pretty lady like you waiting oh please i'm not that pretty do you need a mirror <laughs> please <laughs> hey <laughs> what is there something on my face no, I, uh, I was just lost in your beauty. Oh, good lord, did you please? I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Don't get me wrong, yeah. all right? I love my husband. Mm. I love him so much, to death, actually. Mm. And I wouldn't mind doing this with him. It's just... It's been such a long time. Mm. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm probably boring you with stories about my husband. No, 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 no. I actually find it quite fascinating. I, I feel like we share a couple of things in common. No, we don't. Yes, we do. <laughs> well, maybe just our love for food. Yeah. <laughs> and the fact that we're both extroverted introverts mm. maybe that <laughs> <laughs> okay so would that make you sleep better right now probably <laughs> <laughs> mm. this one is really good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what's better what you and the flesh right well <laughs> it's me in the flesh I must admit, it was worth the wait for six months. Um, thank you so much for a good time. Nah, I'd say thank you too. I had uh, such a great time. We'll do this again soon. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Ouch. Yeah, like it or not, I'm still a married woman. <laughs> and... I'm still very much aware that this, this look right here, leaves a very bad taste in the mouth. So, this is going to be a one-time thing. However, thank you so much. This has been some good therapy. Ouch. Well, thank you for using me. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. Mm. I should get going. Okay. Let me see you all. Okay. Hello? It looks like someone forgot to say goodnight. The G. 
What? You didn't say I couldn't call you or talk you through your ride home. <laughs> Come on, I've been driving for so many years now. I just wanted to make sure that the very pretty lady got home safe. Praise God, somebody had a good day. So hilarious. <laughs> Is that the same friend? Excuse you. The friend that was making you smile the other night. No. So who's this friend that's making you smile and giggle like this? Mark, what is it now? Hmm? What is it? Am I no longer allowed to have friends? Anyway, if you must know, I'm chatting with my friends. Okay? Nothing serious. I wonder why you're asking all these questions. Well, I don't believe you. And now you've changed. Mm. These days, you're, you're mostly silent. You no longer talk to me. You rather keep company of your phone. Then whose fault is it? Hmm? Who's? I come to, to the house. I meet an empty house. My supposed husband is nowhere to be found. Because he's either in one prayer meeting today or one Bible study tomorrow. All volunteered. No paid activity. I am working for God. Then why are you jealous of my phone? Hmm? I mean, if you had given me a child, I'm sure I would have my hands full. I would have so much to do, I would have no time for my phone. So this is about a child? No. It is about you being selfish and expecting me to sit around waiting. You know what? I am going to watch videos on my phone and laugh. I'm going to chat with my friends so that I don't die of boredom. And this is the last thing I'm going to say about this. All right? Because I'm already getting irritated. Anna, why are you behaving like this? Oh. <laughs> why are you letting the devil use you to disrupt our marriage? Why are you doing this? This is so hilarious. <laughs> Wow. Babe, what has come over you? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm good, girl. Babe. <laughs> wow. So much happens in the world of social media. <laughs> hey, how is your oxygen supply doing today? Fine. Why? Uh, I'm just wondering because you haven't called or texted me today. Ooh. Someone seems to have missed mm. me, eh? And you did not? That's not what I'm saying. So what are you saying? <laughs> I missed you, my love. Please, you and who? Who's your love? We're not lovers. Hey. Hey. How was your day? Um, good evening. How was your day? Mm, fine. Should I heat up dinner for you? Oh, no, don't worry. I already ate. <laughs> Thank you. Sure? Yeah.
You okay? Yes. La 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 Will you be mine? Will you be mine? Will you be mine? Forevermore Will you be mine? Will you be mine? Will you be mine forevermore? Will I be yours? Yeah, will I be yours? Will I be yours forevermore? Baby, can we do life? Can we do light? Can we do light forevermore? In life, surprises may come. In life, mistakes may help us. No breakfast again today? Um, I'm running late. I'll fix you dinner. Babe, what is really going on? What, what's happening? Oh, please! Mark! Not today. And not even right now. I'll talk to you when I get back. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Jesus, stay calm. Lord, please, I need your intervention in my marriage, oh Lord. Wherever the hedge has been broken, Lord, by your power, I seal it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you said that if we seek first your kingdom, everything else will be added. 
Lord, I have sought your kingdom. I have served you in truth and in spirit. Oh Lord, please come to my aid. Please do not let the enemy triumph over me. Please do not let the enemy triumph over me. Come and fix my marriage, oh Lord. Please fix this. Please fix this, oh Lord. Please fix my marriage. What's funny? Anna? Um, why are you talking to me? Yeah, I asked what's funny, you giggled. <laughs> it's nothing. It's been long. You're my wife. I'm tired. DG, I said stop, DG. I don't. Who, who's DG? Who is DG? That's the same guy you've been talking to this whole time, right? That's the same guy you talked to this guy to the point that his name now comes up on our matrimonial bed. Anna, you need to stop talking to him. You need to stop talking to him. energy for this conversation. Ah, Somebody is trying to sleep. You will not allow her sleep. How would the person be talking from sleep? Eh? Asking me who is Deji? Who is Deji? How am I supposed to know? You don't tell me. You that, 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 that woke me up. Okay, good night. Hey, hey, what are you saying? Telling me. Like, I almost lost this small marriage I'm managing. <laughs> like, but for the mercies of God. What would I have said? Like, can you imagine? Just an innocent meeting. Me. You know when um, a guy meets a girl, a girl meets a guy, they like each other, and they had sex. Are you serious? Uh huh. So I look like I'm joking. You know, this guy turned an ordinary affair into an obsessive situation. Babe, this guy threatened my life, my child life, and you almost got my husband involved. Yes. Like, what would I have said if my husband had found out? Like, can you imagine? He has mine, though. Wait, where did you meet this person? Because obviously you don't go anywhere and you are a full blown housewife. Instagram, or. You know when you reply to an honest DM, you know now, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> like, I didn't even know I was deep into him until he started asking me to choose him. Like, how now? Where I want to start from? Guy, you took a really big week, so. Thank God you came out without any issues. Hmm. Because then, 
all these guys, all they do is like prey on gullible, lonely married women. And thank God you did not fall victim because if not, you will tell me that story and I will laugh at you. Oh, I thank God for this one. Carry your phone. Can you imagine? Go to Instagram. Find another fine like boy. Like him and follow him. Ah, I will be here. You tell me this. And I will laugh at you. <laughs> that will never happen again. Go to him. See this fine. the devil use me. You gave me such a good man for a husband. But look at how I have rubbished everything. But I want to confess. I have to confess. This, this guilt is too heavy for me, Lord. Father, you told us in James 5.16, you said if we confess our sins to one another and pray for each other, you said we will find healing. Lord, please, please, I want healing. But I don't want my husband to leave me afterwards. Please don't let him think of divorcing me. After I confess to him, I don't want to lose my husband. But please, please, I beg you, if you do this for me, I promise I will walk on my walk of faith with you. And I will fix my gaze on you and only you, God, please.
Deji, what are you doing here? Hmm? What am I doing here? Uh -huh. Why won't you talk to me? We had a date, you stood me up, I tried to call you, you won't return any of my calls. Next thing I wake up in the morning and you've blocked me everywhere. Look, we can talk, okay? Let's just go somewhere more private to have this conversation, all right? <laughs> come here, Anna Banana, come here. Do I look like I have stupid written on my forehead? Look, I am a married woman, all right? Fine, I, I got foolish enough to familiarize with you, over familiarize with you, despite having a loving, devoted, and understanding husband, all right? But my eyes have opened now, and this, whatever it is, it ends today, all right? Fine, I, I'm sorry. You're sorry? For what exactly? For using me, for toying with my feelings, or you think I do not have feelings? Don't do that. You knew I was a married woman from the start, didn't you? Right. So this is goodbye, eh? Please do not ever call me again. All right? Baba re masindo re maskara. Re maskindo re maskara re masindo re maskito. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Father. Thank you Lord. Re maskindo re maskito. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Uh, so we move to Psalms 145, verses 8 and 9. And I read, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He is slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies all over his work. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout for Jesus. Shout for Jesus. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I hope you all had a great time. Um, this brings us to the end of today's Bible study service. But before we round up, I would like to know if anybody has any questions, any contributions. Okay, we'll take just uh, three, but let's start with you, my brother. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was actually very touched by your ministration, Pastor. Oh, praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. However, I have one question. If God is so gracious, God is so good, then why does he allow the ones we love the most to hurt us? That's a very good question, my brother. Um, God created all of us in his own image. He's a very merciful God. But uh, because of our sinful nature, he allows us to experience pain, to experience hurt, because it's a true test of our faith. Mm. You know, bringing us, drawing us close to him and stay away from sin. Yes. Thank you. Deji, I'm not your love. Where are you? Look, I don't know if you think that this is funny, but I'm going to assure you. Fine, then come out. Come out, let's talk and stop hiding. Fine, now I'll meet you there right now and let's get this done and over with immediately. Deji, look, I don't appreciate you stalking me like this, okay? 
all we had were nice conversations. Yeah, maybe a few memories from the times that, that, that we, we spent together. And that's it. It's nothing that we can't move past or that we can't live without. Really? Yeah. Harry, stop. Are you so sure? Stop. Don't touch me like that. Does he live? Number 11, Coyote Street. Um, he lives at number 11, Coyote Street. Yes. Why don't we go there tonight and, and get him? It, it doesn't matter the cost I'll pay. All right, then. I'll be at the station first thing in the morning. All right. Thank you. Good night. I'm sorry. You're sorry? You're sorry, Anna. Like, sorry is just supposed to magically change everything. You're sorry. God, Anna, how could you? How could you fall prey to this kind of temptation? How? How would I have been a good husband to you? So what is this? First, you get yourself romantically involved with this guy, and the next thing, you let him sleep with you. He raped me. You put yourself in that situation in the first place. Gosh. I don't... Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me when he started stalking you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Is he an old friend? Yeah. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. So, so you lied about that too? Anna, you lied about that too? Um, I, I met him on Instagram. He sent me a DM. Hey. You met him on Instagram. He sent you a DM. Do you see how silly you sound right now? Do you see how childish you sound like, a, like an ordinary school girl? He sent me a DM. I'm sorry. Please. I'm so disgusted by you right now. Anna, please sit. We, we need to talk. Do you love him? No. Do you still speak to him? No. I forgive you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so sorry.
Stick up. Tell me the truth now. Oh, officer. Mm. I'm telling you the truth. My old guy, he don't try to go back to London. And he's not coming back anytime soon. The man doesn't care about me. See, if, if you like, lock me up for years. No go come. See, I no get papa, I no get mama, I no get anybody. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. yes. So you're saying there's nothing that can be done after what he did to my wife? The only thing that can be done is for us to declare him wanted. Uh, that will get them to flag his passport. So whenever he comes back into the country, we can nab him. This usually takes a few years. You know, sometimes never, but hopefully. So, what do you advise we do? Like I said, you know, we just declare him wanted and Whenever he comes around, hopefully we can get him. <sighs> well, I better take my leave now. All right. Thank you, Detective. Yeah. Um, I really appreciate your effort. You're welcome. Thank you. God bless you. Take care.
There's something I need to tell you. Anna, what have you done again? I missed my period. So, so I took a test. Pregnant. to talk about it over drinks. Cheers. <laughs> You know, I should have given her a baby, but I was so stupid because she always wanted one. That's the funny thing. And now I have to father a child of a man that raped my wife. <laughs> Very stupid. <laughs> so, Mr. Mark, what are you going to do? what Jesus will do. Look, you're a very good man and none of this
this is your fault. Okay? Let's go again. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. Okay. I, for you. <laughs> Are you sure and you've not had enough? No, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> ah. 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 You okay? Yes. <laughs> Nice. Woo! Nice. Let's go. One more, one more. Let's go. Oh, no. Come on, let's go, let's go. One more. Well, yeah. if you ask me, I'll No, go. come on. Let's go. Are you not having a good time? I'm having a good yes, time. Sir. Let's go. Okay. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Yes. Sir. Okay. <laughs> That one hit differently. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You don't remember? No. Well, you asked that I take you to my place because you were feeling overwhelmed. Please. Please just tell me that nothing happened. Well, something happened. We, I'm so sorry. We had... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ben, I've been so worried about you. Anna. I... Hey, you're scaring me, okay? to give me an honest answer. Do you still love your wife? 
Use your words, Mr. Mack. Yes, Pastor. Do you think this marriage is worth saving? Yes, Pastor. Are you really convinced that this is what you want, this marriage? And should this marriage be revived, that you be committed and remember her transgressions no more? Yes, Pastor. You see, such a thing like this shouldn't be seen in a Christian home. We are called to behold Jesus as our mirror. And as we look to him, we get changed and transformed. But when we look elsewhere, we become what we look at. And that is when we fall. That is why the Bible asks us to hold on to Jesus. Your wife looked away. That is when sin stepped in. But however, we are not here to point fingers. Rather, we are here to heal and reconnect you to your maker. The author of all our lives and the finisher of our faith. So, let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, you are the unseen guest in every home. We welcome you to this family to bring you peace as the healer you are. And let them live in peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Jesus, take it easy. Jesus. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, babe. You're fine in Jesus' name. Good afternoon, Mr. Mark. Hi, Brenda. Hi, how are you, sir? So I'm really sorry about your baby. We heard what happened. We heard you lost him. Well, I guess it's all God's plan. And, uh, who are we to question him? Yes. Look, Brenda, about what happened, I... Uh, this is how you don't, you don't have to apologize. No, I have to apologize. <gasps> Even though I... I really cannot remember I, anything I can't that, remember. Uh, Sir, I... Um, I don't know how to say it, but I, sir, I, sir, please find a place in your heart to forgive me because I lied about us sleeping together. Yes, it never happened. That's because I've been nursing feelings for you. I know it's no excuse for me to do such a thing, but when I heard about your baby, I, I, I felt really awful. And I thought to apologize to you. Please just find a place in your heart to forgive me. And first thing on Monday morning, I'm going to submit my resignation later. I'm, I'm really sorry, sir. S sorry, sir. Have a good day, sir. Please forgive me, sir.
Lord, by your grace, I decree that my son, the son of my womb, will not give his strength to women, not the ways that destroy kings. I commit my child to you. They will hear your instructions. They will live according to your precepts. They would do wonders. They would do exploits in the name of Jesus. Every fruit of my womb, every seed of my womb, because you have promised that you're bringing our children from afar. I decree you are for signs and for wonders in Jesus name. Amen. <laughs> Babe. Oh God. Mm. Baby! Baby wants fruits! Yeah, baby! <laughs> you want some fruits, right? I'm coming! Okay! Daddy's bringing them. <laughs> oh, happy day! Oh, happy day! Oh, happy day! Hey. When Jesus washed, when <laughs> Jesus washed, when Jesus washed, when he washed my I sins away. Oh, 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 happy day, oh, happy day, oh, happy day. When Jesus washed, when Jesus washed, when Jesus washed, when Jesus washed. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me give so, the first yeah, kid. daddy the most finally brought right. our you fruits. Eat? You want to eat? Yeah, you wanna definitely eat, baby? wants to eat. Oh, you're blessed, my child. Amen. You shall live a long life. You shall have the best that life has to offer in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. La, 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 la. Will you be mine? Mistakes may happen